Hi everyone, Dr. Kimberly Leonard here, and I'm going to review another book today. Reading has always been one of my favorite things to do ever since my third grade teacher gave me the Bobsy Twins book for my birthday. She came to my birthday party and it was like the highlight for me. And she gave me this Bobsy Twins book. And some of you are old enough to know what that is. Some of you are not. And so I just love books. Um, my first official job was actually working in a library, my public library. So um, I just love to share books. And um, I'm learning with these, um, with the YouTube, I have to ask you to please subscribe, like, and ring the bell um, so that I can um, keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you so much. But today I wanted to review this book Jonathan Livingston Siegel by Richard Bach. Now, this is a very old book. Someone gave me a copy of this book when I was in high school, and it was published back in 1970. So it's a very old book, and um, it actually is a story about a seagull. And even though I'm a reader and I love to read. I've never liked to read those really big, thick books, you know, with small words that look like daunting. Um, I always like to read something and get the message out of it and then, you know, be done with it quickly. <laughs> and so these kind of small books like this, I really love. The other thing about, about this book is, um, I don't know if you can see it. If you'll see, there's a lot of pictures in it. And the book has 128 pages in it. But like I said, there's many pictures and you see there's a lot of white space on there. So I like reviewing books like this because anyone who thinks they're not a reader, you can read this book. Okay. So it's called Jonathan Livingston, Livingston Seagull. It actually is about a seagull. And the, the basis of the story is Jonathan Livingston Seagull is a seagull who is unlike any other seagull. Most seagulls are staying close to the beaches and they're squawking and they're fighting for food. And that's all they do all day is just eat and fight for food. And um, Jonathan Livingston Seagull, he has a wish to fly. And so he starts practicing his flying and he's going and he's flying high into the sky. While everyone else is down on the shore, he's up there flying and he's enjoying it so much. He's learning how to do tricks in the air. He's learning how to go up real high and come down quickly without hitting the water. <laughs> and, you know, it's just turning just in time. And he gets a lot of criticism. He gets criticism from his parents. He gets criticism from the other people in the flock saying, why can't you just be satisfied to be a seagull and just stay down here and fight for food? And his mother says, I'm so worried about you. I don't think you're eating enough. You're getting too skinny. Um, and that's, you know, that's what happens to so many of us when we have a dream or we have something that we believe in, that we want to go for. There's, you know, so many people and things around us wanting us to stay normal. But I don't think God meant for us all to stay normal. I think he meant for us to all have something in our heart, this burning desire, this fire, this light, this something that makes us want to move and do something special in life. And that's what happens with uh, Jonathan Siegel. He just has this wish to fly and he continues to fly. And after a while, he gets in trouble with the flock and they said, you are banned forever. You can never come back to the flock. And so he just goes off alone and he's practicing and he's mastering his craft. He's mastering the flying. He's getting better and better every day, but it's very lonely because no one else is up there, just 
him. And as the story progresses, I won't tell you the whole story because then you won't want to read it. Um, but he actually ends up meeting other seagulls who also had that same path. And uh, eventually he comes back to his flock where he had been ostracized and told to leave. He comes back and he starts to show them all the beautiful things he can do and other seagulls start to wake up and that's that's why i just really love this book so i highly recommend reading this book it's a short i mean i could read it in an hour i'm a pretty fast reader but i mean even even if you're not a reader this is a great book to to start with and enjoy and learn from and it really helps you to really think through your own life and what you're doing and how you're thinking about life and and um i i hope it in just inspires you to be your unique self. All right, guys, again, please subscribe, like, and ring the bell, and I'll talk to you again soon.